Hi, welcome to my video on the Telesun Mini tripod stick for action cameras. Telesun Mini is a direct competitor to the GoPro Shorty and throughout this video you're going to see me do um, comparisons but I'm going to try and keep the actual video on the description and detail the actual video on the description and detail of the Telesun. Purchase the Telesun off Amazon UK for $19.99 and when you get it you get it in a box like this with a picture of the actual selfie stick on the front. Telesun written at the top, the actual Descript the name of the product at the bottom and on the other side of the box it just says Telesun and on the other side it just says Telesun.com and on the back it's just basically a um, just a little printout of the company and where it is in China. Uh, this is how the shorty looks. It is totally made of plastic with the stem itself made, made of aluminium. So I'll start off with the legs and then work up to the top. Now for the main body of the Telesun, and I keep calling it the shorty, but the Telesun Mini, we have this nice um, plastic with this nice kind of rubber gripping, which is on all three legs, which is much better than the shorty, which does not come with any kind of textured gripping on the legs of that particular selfie stick. On the bottom, we clearly have, and I'll show you there, we clearly have rubber feet with grip on the bottom. The Telesun, as I stated, this is made out of plastic, but it's a nice durable plastic, not cheap feeling plastic. And we have the words Telesun written on this collar here. Now, They've made this collar in silver with the words Telesun written in white. And it does give the impression that the collar is made of metal, but it isn't. It's still made of plastic. It's just been sprayed with this um, silver paint. M here. And we have, it comes out in three sections. And it's just a pity that Telesun has made each section have these white collars, which to me lessens the look but at the same time there is a kind of stiffness to this um, to this stem when pulling out it doesn't use a twist lock motion it's exactly like the GoPro shorty just simply pull out and friction holds each section in place we have a seam running down the front and a seam running down the back up to the top here where we have the actual GoPro mount which is made out of plastic which has this metal nut or cap here which has the screw thread for the actual thumb screw which you do get you do get a thumb screw with this and it's just a simple basic um, plastic thumb screw and as you can see there and I'll try and show it in the camera you do get a screw in within there now normally I would do my wobble test but because these this along with the GoPro shorty is basically a vlogging um, selfie stick and it's quite short there is no wobble with this because it's quite firm because obviously the distance from the hand top of the handle to the bottom of the mount is very very short so there will be no wobble in this whatsoever now the actual length that Telesun state in inches from the very top of the mount to the bottom of the handle is 10 inches that it extends out to. But you know in my videos I don't go by that because you lose um, inches off from the hand grip especially with vlogging um, selfie sticks like this. You lose inches off the handle and obviously you're going to lose an inch or so off the mount. So between these two spaces here, it measures five inches between these two points here, which makes this longer than the actual GoPro Shorty, because when you um, extend out the GoPro Shorty, it measures just under four inches. So you've got about an inch more difference with the Telesun Mini. As I stated before, the actual legs 
act as a handle when closed together and they clip in together forms uh, the actual handle and as I stated before that these are made of plastic with a nice rubber texture on the front of them to provide grip and each of the bottom of the legs does have grip on the bottom and as you can see here there's quite a webbing um, feature within these legs to give it real adequate strength to the, each of these legs. I'm going to go in this part of the video on the comparisons between the Shorty and the Telesun Mini. Actual Telesun is a lot longer than the, well just a bit longer than a lot longer, than a bit longer than the GoPro Mini. The build quality of the Telesun to me in the hand folks is a lot better than the GoPro Mini. Mount on the top for the Telesun Mini is the platform base or mount is a lot wider than the GoPro Mini. Both mounts on either one are made out of plastic with the same kind of aluminium stem. Now one thing that the one of the things that the actual Shorty has over the Mini as you can see the Shorty the collars in between the three sections which are shorter than the sections of the Mini, of the Telesun Mini, are in black, which I like what GoPro has done with that. And also, because this is an inserted piece, in, inserted plastic mount into a aluminium stem, it, this, is re, this is glued in without any dimpling, and you can't see it on here, so I'll try and spin it around, but there's no dimpling on there or in, uh, indentation, I think that's right. Well, on the actual Telesun Mini, you can see there's two dots on the front. <laughs> there's two dots on the front, and there are two dots on the back. Now, I could wobble these, shake these, and the Telesun Mini does not feel any different than the GoPro. There's no wobble in there and the mounts do not feel like they are coming off. Now there is another comparison between the, these two and I'll try and get them into a picture. That's it, there it is. If you can see where the legs are, the stem of the GoPro comes all the way up when fully extended so you don't get, and I'll try my best to get it in there, there. You just only get a bit of the stem at the bottom of where the legs are when fully extended with the GoPro. Now, I'll put that on that. And now with the Mini, Telesun Mini, you can see there's a lot of the stem. Now, this stem does not move any further. It is locked there. You can't pull it down to the actual bottom. You can't do that with the Telesun Mini. It is locked into place, so that's the amount of stem that is left at the bottom between the legs. Now in one way that is quite good because it depends on the kind of ground you put this on. That acts as a fourth leg to give it more stability than the GoPro where if you're going to get some stability on a particularly uneven surface and you wanted that fourth leg with the GoPro you're going to have to obviously push down the last, the first section, pull it down to provide that kind of spare leg. It's so difficult, folks, to show you. To provide that kind of spare leg in the middle, that fourth leg. Now, this is how the both of them look on a tabletop, and I'm simulating either the ground or the tabletop. And as you can see, just by looking, uh, using the 1R against the GoPro 9, both on the respective um, sh uh, selfie sticks. You can see that the um, Telesun Mini is just about an inch taller. Um, to be precise, if you want to see the platform, that's where the bottom of the shorty platform is. And if I use my finger to extend out, you can see it's an inch more um, taller on the Mini to the GoPro. But the stems both look the same thickness, so bear that in mind. And as I stated before in my video, you do get this, you can't bring up the middle stem 
on the mini so it acts on uneven ground as a fourth leg rather than with the with the <laughs> folks rather than with the shorty you can bring that up and obviously you haven't got that kind of fourth leg underneath now when it comes to its stance or, or footprint that it leaves the Telesan has a much um, wider footprint than the GoPro it stands more wider and just a little bit more higher than the GoPro does the GoPro has a very small footprint compared to the Telesan and the angle of the legs seem to be more of a more sharper angle than the Telesan. The Telesan has a more flat um, angle than the GoPro does, which obviously gives it this wider footprint. And as I stated before on my videos, you get rubber on the bottom of each leg, which is gripped as well on the Telesan Mini than the GoPro, which doesn't have any rubber whatsoever. This is the part of the video where I do my two pence worth on the Telesan <laughs> Mini. And I'll start off with the negatives first, and trust me, there ain't much negatives on this at all, because it's such a great little um, selfie stick, mini selfie stick or vlogging stick, if you want to call it that. Now, the one negative, major negative with this, which I do find with this, and it could be just this particular selfie stick, the rest of them, the one that you may buy, may be totally different to this one. But what I did find is it has got a locking mechanism to lock these legs in place. Now, I've been using this for over a week, I'm just testing it out, and I find that the locking mechanism after about three days gave up and you can see on some of my b-roll um, what I thought when the legs were locked and, pl and I placed and uh, put it down the legs slightly opened back up so it could be just this one and not the whole entire range of this particular um, mini so it could be just this one and as you can see even talking to you here it's opened back up as you can see so that's the major negative um, with this. A, another negative with the Mini, um, which the GoPro does suffer from as well, is the mount at the top is made out of plastic. So if you drop this um, with your camera or even without your camera onto a hard surface, you could break the teeth or fingers of this mount. And that applies to the GoPro Shorty as well um, because they made the mount out of plastic. So it would have been better if they made it out of steel. And the last two negatives about the Mini has to be with these colours between. Um, Television should have made these grey or a dark grey to give it a more of a premium look to it. It does feel premium in the hand. Um, despite what the negatives I've said about the legs, it does feel premium in the hand when you hold it. It does feel much more um, premium than the GoPro Shorty does. But I wish they made these colours the same colour or a dark grey as the stem. That would have been really good. And the final negative has to be with the stem here. Now, it falls as a negative and falls into the positive camp you can't retract that that does not um, retract so to give you extra length it stays at that it's at a fixed length that is and it doesn't move now that makes it a negative in one respect now if you're on uneven ground it makes it as a positive because it provides a fourth leg under the actual three legs so that makes it a positive. And now for the positives. Positive about the Telesan Mini has to be with the price. On Amazon, it's currently at $19.99. And I have to say, it does feel like a $19.99 product. Even though I had mentioned about the legs and I did state that it could be just this particular one that I've got. 
why the legs are slightly a bit faulty and they can't close up together for much lo uh, for too long. So for its price, this feels far more premium than the GoPro Shorty. When you take the Shorty out the box, and the only reason why I got the Shorty is because I had a voucher from GoPro themselves, um, up to 30 pounds, so I bought the Shorty at the time. And the Shorty, to me, when I took it out the box straight away, did not feel as a 25 pound product at all. While this actually feels its price, as I stated, with all of its things that it's got, its grip, the longer stem, um, the wider stance to it than the shorty, um, the, gr the grip on the uh, legs and the grip on the bottom of the legs compared to the shorty, this does feel it, the, its price, while this does not. Actual extension length of the actual stem is a lot better than the GoPro Shorty, even though it's only an inch more, but that inch makes a difference with this. So when you're vlogging, you can get a little bit more in your shot behind you. So this to me makes it a lot better than the actual GoPro Shorty. So that's a positive for this. And the last positive, I like how they give you an actual thumb screw. Now, even though I've been showing you the GoPro Shorty throughout my video and on the B-roll, I've used a actual thumb screw because when you get the GoPro Shorty, you don't get a thumb screw. You get this kind of screw with it, a metal screw, um, which has a flat head required for it or it has this gnarling around it so you can tighten it with your fingers. Now, what I did notice with that is, if you're gonna put other things on there to vlog with, such as a Insta 361R with the 4K um, lens, <laughs> I'm stuck today, folks, or you're gonna make it, an ad or put an adapter so you can put a mirrorless camera or a point and shoot camera on there to vlog with, to tighten down, unless you bring a coin with you or a screwdriver, forget it with, uh, you know, using your fingers or if it's on a cold day and you've got gloves, forget it, you can't use that screw. So I revert back to using a thumb screw on there because that screw to me is a bit useless on the GoPro. I like how Telesun gives you this thumb screw here which you can use even on the coldest of days with gloves on, it's easier to use rather than using the screw that you get with the GoPro Shorty. The screw to me, it's a nice idea and I can see where they're coming from with it, but personally, I did not like it. So from day one, I just replaced it with a thumb screw similar to the what you get on the Telesun Mini. So now for my overall conclusion on the Telesun Mini. For me, this is like the Ulanzi. These are very, very good vlogging um, selfie sticks. Suitable for any kind of camera. Obviously you can't stick a big DLSR camera on there. And you can get away with um, mirrorless cameras on there. As I says, you got, you're gonna have to buy extra is the GoPro um, adapter, which is from GoPro, uh, basically GoPro mount to a quarter inch screw thread adapter. You're gonna have to buy it to replace it on there to put cameras like that onto this particular vlogging stick. But this, Along with the Ulanzi, I think it's MT-08 and MT-09. I think they probably come up with the MT-010 now. Um, they are much better and far more superior than the GoPro. To me, the GoPro Shorty is not worth its money, what they're charging for it. I can see some benefits with that. And the only benefits that I can see with the Shorty is if you want to put something in your pocket that's very small or into your bag that is slightly smaller 
then the obviously the Ulanzis and this Tellison, then go for the go for the shorty. But be aware you're going to be disappointed the moment you take this out the box and feel the quality in your hand of this doesn't match up to the Tellison Mini or even the Ulanzi MT-08 and MT-09. Now that was a long waffling on that I made about this, but I'm trying to press to you folks that this is far more superior than the GoPro Shorty, the Tellison Mini. Now, if you happen to have the Tellison Mini, please leave that down in the comment section because what you thought about it, because obviously your opinions are different to my opinions. So I'll leave it down in the comment section. And I haven't said that in quite a long while. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail on the item or the product. So when you get it, you know what to expect. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the channel. I'll be grateful for that. And I'll see you next time.